Hello, everyone. Hi. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to Tuesday. We have a haul for you, we as you can tell things. by the title and the thumbnail. And as usual, it's a fun, it's a bunch of amazing, awesome, fantastic, great, huge Minnesota thrift haul. Yes. Like always. So we're gonna do five five like we always do. If you're interested in anything, please email us. It's the first thing below. And I know some of you, like two of you or three of you, had emailed me last time, and. For some reason, they went to my spam box. I am theorizing that it was because maybe they had like the word purchase or money in them, and it was from uh, an email I hadn't received from before. So they thought it was just like- junk. I'm not sure, but it's never Sorry. happened before, so don't be discouraged. It should no. work, usually. I don't know why that happened, but you can also DM us if you're interested, if you don't want to email us. Either works. Mm -hmm. So yeah, email us if you're interested in anything. We'll tell you the sizes on all these. And yeah, got lots of good stuff. We're gonna try to make this one part. One part, so, we can do this. We can so do that we can give you a bolo on Thursday. <laughs> also, sorry, I don't have my teeth in today. I didn't feel like putting them in. <laughs> so, and they're getting cleaned. So I'm gonna start, I'm starting with shoes. Ryan's not, he didn't get any. I did not get one pair of shoes this time, which is kind of shocking. I found a I ton of shoes. anthropology shoes, so I'm excited. And they're so, so cute. first off, these were sold at Dolls Kill and um, Anthropology, people. and I think, yeah, possibly Free People too. Mm -hmm. These are Steve Madden shoes. They are They're these cute. floral sock boots They're or really heels, which were like very on trend for a while. They're called the Lombardi or Lombard, and they're mm -hmm. size eight, and they're not used. They never been worn. Ever. They're really cute. So. That's exciting. Those are so cute. I had found those before, but they the size didn't match. It was like a nine and like a six and a half. So we had so to use them as, as we put planters. Plants in them now. These were also at Anthropology. Sam Edelman can sometimes be sold there. Um, they are these denim, the Susie block heel. Again, Susie's a good shoe. Like never worn. And size eight. Really cute. Very cute. These are legitimately Anthropology. Hey, Anthropology. Which is like, like their shoe brand. Worn. These were worn maybe a couple times. This is paper raffia. It's like raffia, which trend. The only flaws are both of them, I think, have just like a few inside scuffs. Yeah. Very light. Yeah, like up at the front there. Um, and these are size seven and a half. Super, super cute. Take a shot every time we say cute if you're watching this at night. You <laughs> After a long day. <laughs> These are made well, like caged leather sandals. They're cute. These, also cute. <laughs> Oops. Size nine. Not much to say about them, but perfect for the season. A good staple sandal. And then these are from the bins, and I'm gonna try to sell them because they are cheetah print. And they're they're kind of cute. They have like not really any flaws to them, but they're Stuart Weitzman, which I can sometimes sell. And yeah, I'm just gonna give these a shot. There's a little bit of like one of them has a small like a, scuff. There's like a back. scuff on the back, but, but yeah. since it's cheetah print, you're not gonna be. Able these to are see size that. seven, so if my mom wore heels, she would rock these. She loves cheetah print. And she loves kitten heels because she can't walk in anything else. <laughs> these are available, and they're good for spring because they are open and peep toe. Mm -hmm. So you only yeah. gotta paint three toenails. Okay, first, this is a Mark Jacobs size six little like gingham. Gingham. Well, I don't know if you can call it gingham. It feels no. like gingham. Um, little like dress. This is so cute with the like sweetheart neckline, and it's not backless, but like a low back. It's kind of hard to show because it's, it's kind of like an big. apron becomes a dress. Exactly. Um. Okay. This is New Tech Style Keepers, which can sometimes be a revolve. So Google it. And this is called the Malibu Barbie dress with these little like off shoulders. Super cute. Um. This is a size. Here's a style keeper's logo. Extra small. If you guys have never seen one, mm -hmm. that's what it looks like. It's cute. There's also a brand called Style Stalkers. I don't, know if it's, I don't know if it's the same brand, but it's really expensive too. Um, new tag, free people. This is the festive orange combo in a, a size large. This is the festive orange combo. Size large. That's just the. Oh, color. and it's just this really cute, like, kind of flowy tank. Classic free people tank top. Um, this is New Tag Kate Spade pajama top, and it's just this, like, silky pink polka dot button down. It gives me, like, Chanel. Pajama -ish. top. Yeah, it kind of does. And this is a medium. That's a very it's cute. It's very cute. 
Okay. Last but not least, well, these not are, well, this round. <laughs> uh, new Tech Madewell, size 20, 28, 27. Um, and the only thing is they got a little bit of like something, like right here. <clears throat> but that'd be really easy to wash out. And they're these super cute, like Rahim, like pink pants, pink mm -hmm. jeans. I'm Too these. bad Valentine's Day is over. I know. Easter's coming though, so. Does Madewell not put 27? names in their jeans anymore? Oh. Hmm. Maybe not. Hmm. Okay, well, to be determined. They're like wide. They're like a high waisted, wide leg crop pee pants. Cute. These are Kate Spade. Very, Very cute. cute, like spring sandals with little floral rivets and scalloped. Edges, edges to them and they're size single. 10. These have been used a bit more than the other ones that I'm showing have been. Um, but they're, they're still fine. She just color. rocked on or walked on some rocks at some point. <laughs> some gravel. She said I need to go in the gravel. But yeah, they're really nice the still. Gravel. These were sold at Anthropology. These are Dolce Vita, one of my like newest obsessions for shoe brands. It's so cute. I've gotten questions from people, what's the difference between Dolce Vita and Dolce Vita Target line? If it has the big DV, cheap as target if it just says dolce vita like that it's expensive expensive like yeah <laughs> um and these are a size seven and a half and they're like a blush almost purpley you can't see that a really pretty color these are also anthropology these are i didn't know this brand was ever there but i looked these up and they sure enough were sold nanette nanette lapour i think she's only twice made a shoe for anthro and this is one of them <laughs> she's made them in white also they're so anthro. cute though um yeah these are brand new never been worn and they are size nine and a half and it is real suede leather another pair of anthropology shoes these i've actually sold before and what do you know they're dolce vita again my mom oh, yeah. actually had these sitting around her house, and I was like, if you're not going to list them, can I have them? And she said, yeah. So, She's like, I'm not going to do it over here. So yeah, these are anthropology ones. Thanks, Debbie. Um, I think, it looks like they might be missing zipper pulls. They still have, like, the ring, but no mm. pull. But I could probably add something on there. We could but, a little, little I mean, some toe wear. Like these are a little bit more worn, too, but they're fine. They're what size them. were they? Nine, maybe? Um, Is it on the inside of the zipper? Like I say, Dolce Vita is always a real pain in the butt for sizes. Size nine, yeah. Do you, okay. Um, wait. Oh, you got one more. Yeah, I have two more. What? I thought you. These, I thought we were further on. The these <laughs> are some knee-high boots. I've seen this brand before, but never picked it up. It's Botkie. Botkie. Um, these are a five and a half. These are super nice. They retailed at 250 bucks. They're so cute. And I got a good deal on them, so I thought I'd give them That's a really nice feeling leather, too. It is. And what my last... Are those? No, five and a half. Five and a half. And Ten. my last shoe, these were at the bins. Some of this has been, some of this isn't, as usual. These were at the bins. Some classic Doc Martens. Oh, I love still a Doc Martin. need to fix them up and clean them up. Just wipe them a little bit. A little I've bit done it before. They turn out real well. Doc Martens shine up so well. And they're size seven, woman's. Super cute. Amazing. Okay. New tag Eileen Fisher uh, organic cotton drapey denim. Size extra, extra small. Um, I usually don't pick up Eileen Fisher, but this is new and it's really cute. It's just this little basic jean dress with the like pockets on it, kind of like a smock. How much did this retail for? $208. Why? <laughs> anyway. Okay. This is new tag free, people. This dress is really pretty. Size 12. So I think that's, that's really like a large. Cool. Um, and it's just this really pretty, like, white crochet, kind of, like, almost bodycon dress. And the only thing with it is there's, like, some very, very light makeup marks on the inside. But, like, that's not going to do anything. But it's super pretty mm -hmm. with the, like, little lacy straps. Okay, another new tag free people. This one is a size extra, extra small as well. I've never found this, like, line of free people. It's free people one. Oh. Which, I don't know. I don't know the difference, but I found one. the... the differences but it's just this really cute like yellow like swing dress it's honestly kind of the same thing as the white one usually free people one retails pretty high it's 120 dollar dress but so like i don't know why. okay um this is from the bins and it's a j crew blazer size four i'm not 100 percent sure of the specific style 
but I will never, ever, ever pass a J. Crew blazer in the bins. Especially not in the bins. Yeah. You know, and it's just got the one, two buttons. Okay, I thought I was missing a button. A little navy blazer, size four. Um, okay, these are bibs, and I got them in the bins. They are Hollister, size extra small. And it's just this, like, gray little classic pair of overalls. If I can get them to leave you now. Hmm. Cute. Easy money. Okay. Next we have an Athleta sweater. Thank you, Haley, for handing this to me. Uh, size small. But it's just this really cute, like... That is a new Athleta. Like, mauve pink with the... Like, kind of a blue sleeve, but kind of not really. And the little slit on the side. A teeny, teeny snag. There's a little tiny something in it. A little snag. But I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. Yeah. I think I've gone far enough. So this is from the bins. Y'all know I like to pick up vintage belts when they either have a really big intense buckle or if they have like embellishments yeah, or something on them. And this is, I can tell, a bigger size. I tried wearing it for a day and it was like very oversized on me. It's really cute. So I will do the measurements before I list that. If you were interested, I can send you measurements too. Yeah. Ooh, excuse me. This, I don't pick up Victoria's Secret bras very often, but this one's super cute and I believe it's never been worn. Obviously I can't say that because I don't know, but- It isn't, and the it, tag isn't like- No, it seems like brand new. Yeah. So it's like Victoria's Secret, not pink. And it's a, as Debbie would say, razor back. Or racer it's a racer back to the rest of us <laughs> and it is a size small so that's nice i also found an athleta bra we love a sports, sports bra. bra nice mesh detail and everything and this interesting big fabric tag and it's a size medium it's really cute really like that color found these okay so i saw this in the bins. Loft and Loft, little bag. And I could tell it was sunglasses inside. And I was like, I'll get some loft sunglasses. If anything, I can bring them to a consignment store. Take them out. They're super cute. So I'm going to sell them. Then I realized that they are actually J. Crew. You J. Crew probably can't read that, but they're J. Crew. Are super big. cute. So I am little, excited little to get those. A pair of tortoiseshell sunglasses. Anytime I've had sunglasses, they've done good. So. Mm hmm. And then I'll do all three of these, and then it'll be Ryan's turn. Tord bra. Big old boom bra. Nice purple with black lace detail. Cute. And this one is a size 40D. <laughs> Another one. This one's really cute, too. This Crosses fancy. in the front. Black with purple lace. And this one's a 42C. And they're all padded, too. And then this one is also a 42C, so you could get both of them. It's really cute. Really pretty color. Actually, I, I know, I like this purple color. It's this pretty. is like blue. Oh, blue. Yeah, it's like a royal blue purple, kind of. It's yeah. pretty, whatever it is. Okay, next up for me, everybody bullied me when I found this. <laughs> I found it and I gave it to you. Everybody bullied me when I said I wanted it. Carrie Underwood, I love Carrie Underwood. Shockingly, um, size, I'm gonna say small size small it was right from her 2010 tour <laughs> um okay this is banana republic size eight petite um i found this in the bins and the banana republic kind of like tweed stuff just pretty good for me or if it looks like it was on the show mad men i found is a good keyword to use with banana republic and it's just this like kind of blue with the ruffled hem on the sleeves and this is like black you can't really tell though it's cute Okay. Next, new tag, three people, little bodysuit. Um, this is a size extra small. And this is like, it's a thong style bodysuit. It's, I think, it's, yeah, it's just snapped out. Her crotch is inside out. That's okay. <sighs> um, super cute. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. Another uh, free people bodysuit. This one is a, a medium, and this one's really pretty with the like really poofy like black layered sleeves and the buttons and this one is a thong style as well okay this is another new tag free people i did not notice you found all this free people dress <laughs> um this one is a size large Jeez. and this one is just kind of like a nice little like basic like slip it's like dress. soft it's so it's for, soft like, it's like sleepwear because it's intimate yeah, it's, it's soft, really though. soft. Whatever it yeah. is. Okay, was that five? Yes. This is a brand that I will only get at the bins. 
But it's so cute. And it's though. super cute. I was gonna get it for consignment store no matter what it was. It's a beach cover with tassels on the sides and it does have armholes. And then the top neck is fringe as well. It's by Express. And it's Express. And so it's one size fits all. I just thought it was super it's cute really and cute. obviously very in season. Yeah. You know, obviously you're not going to make all the money in the world, but like 15, It'll 20 bucks. Like so this might look messy at the top, but that's because I just need to cut some strings. She got a string or two. This is okay. really cute, just brandless Minnesota sweatshirt. If it was a crew neck, but I would keep it myself. The lettering is adorable. I just think it's really cute and there might be someone out there for it. Or also bring it to a consignment store if it takes a while to sell. Or Debbie will wear it. So fun fact, this is a new J. Crew label. It's meant to be like the old ones. This is from 2018. Mm -hmm. Very strange. I didn't know that. They remade some of their old sweaters. It's this really being one of them. Though. Mock neck. Polka dot. Like we said in the spring trends. Polka dots polka in. Dots. Size small. Really cute. This is a good find. It is new with tag. Johnny was. And it's this like silk print. Like pleated. kimono top. The back is like pleated. Kind of kimono button up shirt. And it does have some snag marks as you can see. With like very, you can kind of see through them. So I guess you could consider it a hole. But very kind of hard to notice. If you really wore something under it and stuff. Like and steamed it like you wouldn't notice. So yeah. What size was that? I think small. Size medium. Medium. Excited. I never find Johnny was. We don't really ever. I've only found it a few times. And then these are new with tag free people jeans. They were 128 originally and they're size 28. They're really cute. Just kind of a cropped. They're really high rise and they've got just like straight or wide legs. Like a gaucho. Yeah. Cute. Okay. First up for me, I found a spank. I love when I find spanks. That's a leg. Okay, so this is a spank size medium. I looked it up because I was like, does this have a spandex wave in it? No, that's how it's supposed to be. Um, and this is new without tags. Um, this is chaser size medium. And this is such a cute little heart t-shirt. And the only, only thing is that there's a teeny, teeny, teeny little pinhole somewhere. Oh, here it is. Like right in the front, there's this teeny, 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 teeny little hole. But you wouldn't be able to notice that if you were. Um, okay, next, new tag, free people. New tag, new without tag. New without tag. Um, we the free size small. And it's just this really pretty kind of like peach and orange v-neck oversized shirt. Um, this is a good one. This is new oh. tag rails. And it's just this really cute, and it's just this. And this is a really cute little, like, gold uh, heart star patterned white t-shirt. And there is a hole in this one. But if you, like, let's see. But if you do the thing where you, like, tie it up in a knot, nobody would notice. If you can't tell, the majority know. of Ryan's is not from the bins. No. We went to a couple other places, but... Don't worry because we, at least I'm going to be home for an entire week coming up and I'm going to be living at the bins. So. <laughs> and if I can go to Paris because of the coronavirus, I will be there too. Okay, this is a Carhartt hoodie. I picked these up when they're in like decent condition because they sell well for me. Um, and it's just in like the forest green color. And this is a small, it is Carhartt for women. So it's not like Urban Outfitters Carhartt, it's like actual Carhartt. Is that five? Sure. Sure. Okay. This is a Club Monaco, which is usually kind of a pass for me, but I thought this was this pretty is really cute. really cute. And it's a dress. It's 100% silk. It has pockets. And it's this nice dress. I was able to find the model picture, and that's always a good sign for Club Monaco. It means it's newer. And then it's pleated on the back like that. And it's a size 10. It's cute. And it was really cheap. It wasn't at the bins, but it was really cheap, so I still got it. It was in the tank top this section of the store. This was from a Savers. <laughs> And it is this J. Crew size 12. This is so cute. Are you kidding me? Blazer. A little pink tweed moment. With this fringe detail and peplum oh. and more fringe. Oh my gosh. This it's is so like cute. probably the cutest J. Crew blazer I've ever found. And it's a size 12. So Good size. I feel like this will sell Good quick. Blazer. If you're interested, you know me. This is staying in our personal collage de 
I love this. The brand is cut out. She has been removed. But y'all. Are you kidding me? It's, it's adorable. Like this rose, it's completely like ultra suede, like that fake suede. But it it's just really feels soft. like suede. Super like stretchy. Super like well put together. I know. I, I have don't no know. idea what brand this would even be. I don't know if it's handmade or not. But, but it's not leaking. It's got this rose print all over it. It fits both of us well. We're keeping this. It's so. very cute. Just wanted to show you that one. <laughs> this is a pair of free people shorts. What is the tag of these? It's is it the like one of those like older. I, oh. see, I feel like I see these a lot at like TJ Maxx. This was from a Goodwill though. Um, these are really cute. Little pair of like loungy shorts. Yeah. Little comfy shorts. shorty shorts. And then this was my one free people from the bins. Probably wouldn't have got it at a normal thrift store. I didn't find any free people at the bins this time. That makes me so sad. It's, oh, the zipper is split open. So actually this might not get listed. We'll see if I can fix it. There we go. <laughs> oh, so okay. here she Everybody is. Take a deep breath. <laughs> She's fine. She made it. Um, And it's a size zero. So it... This might be a rough sell. This probably will end up at a consignment store, but if you want it, let me know. It's cute though, with the little peach lace, little spring moment. Okay, um, little free people bralette. This has the tag removed, but I have sold this Paclica Crew style many a time. I don't think anyone needed that image. It's cute. Um, I'd probably say like, size small, too tiny. Uh, okay, this is a free people size medium. I love these. This is called the January Thermal. I sell them in every color. Every size for like 25, 30 bucks, and they're amazing. This was a five and a half. Oh, I'm excited about this. It is Dion Vol's Surf and Turf, if I can flip the tag the right way. Size medium, and it is this beautiful cheetah print little sweater. It's so cute. Ugh. I love that. Okay, these are new tag Zara, Trafalic. These are a US size two. And they are called the like high rise palazzo pant. I made out of denim. I like them. But I let him have them. They're very high. Well. They're very high rise. High rise. High rise. <laughs> and if they don't sell, I'm gonna cry because that means Zara is officially so. dead. But I think they'll do fine. The pants usually like don't do awesome Especially for me. super on trend Yes. Okay. This is Veronica Beard jeans. Oh, I got hair in my eye. I need to get a haircut. Uh, size extra small. And this is called the Manuela Eyelet Top. And the only, there's one little flaw with this. And it's really, 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 really hard to see in her armpit right here. There's a little blue mark from. Mm -hmm. Veronica Beard was on a bolo a while ago, and she's Baby extremely I, a bolo. She sells for high, a high end she brand. Sells for she good sells money. fast and for a lot. It's crazy. I don't know why. Okay, this was a bins find, and it was one of my only good bins finds. It's a Madewell sweater, size small, and it doesn't have a date code in it. So finding a model picture it's gonna be a it's gonna be a little difficult. But it's just this really cute little high low. It's a cute color. Kind of like dark teal little sweater. Okay, so I also cute. found a Dion Bone Surf and Turf. Surf and Turf. Size zero. We These are them. very cute, though. They're like joggers. Oh. Um, it's not silk. It almost has that silky feeling. Is it like tinsel? If you want to see what they look like on, on, if you're interested, look up the Janetta. The Janetta. They're really cute. They're just like flowy joggers. They're really cute. Very nice. This is to die for cute. This is a J. Crew. It's this new, new label. It's cursive. Ooh. Mock neck, cheetah print. Little top. Thin kind of top. Like, kind of like skin. Be tight. tight top. It's so cute. And huh? what size was that? You guys probably just saw. It says medium. I love this. I know. That'll do really good. This was from a rag stock. Which, yes. You can source Apparently it Apparently you can source it a rag stock <laughs> if you don't know. I saw people asking what a rag stock is. If you're from the Midwest, you know what It's is. boho meets It's like hot college, topic. like hippie people. It's Hot Topic meets free people in a mall. Yeah. Um, it's Nubatag Atleta. Retailed at $108. Uh, 
We did not pay that for it. Merino wool sweater. Yeah, I paid like nine dollars. <laughs> they had like recycled vintage sweaters, and I was like, "Ain't nothing about this vintage." <laughs> recycled, yes. <laughs> vintage, yeah. This. Oh, this is so cute. I this is Deletta, and that is an older label, I believe, too. Anthropology size large. I feel like this the is Deletta label so hasn't changed so since Anthropology started. It's like I a know. textured green mock neck top. Little top. Love it. And then this is a new brand to me. It was at the bins, and I actually got it to bring to a consignment store. Then when I looked it up after, I found out it's, like, decently pricey. It's called Leota, and it's made in the USA. And this is a size medium. It is, like, a tie belt. It's a really dress. pretty, like, little fit and flare dress. Yeah. Really cute. Pink and purple print. Yeah. Good for Easter. Okay. Next up for me, this is White and Warren. I want to say size small. Ooh, look at me go. So small blue linen tank top with this really cool like multicolor detail going down the is side. It I it? don't know. I am still in the process of Googling, but give me a minute. Um, this is Vince and I'm very excited about this. Um, I just need to steam it because it's a little wrinkly and it is a size small as well. And it's just this really cute little pink wool sweater with this like kind of mock neck, but kind of not really. So next this is New Tag Mother, size medium, and it says have fun on it. And it's just this really cute little t-shirt. This is New Tag Syncocept. This is very expensive. And it's on this brand one time. $85. And it's just this really cute little pink t-shirt. so cute. And it does have, there's a few holes in it on the bottom. All of your tees. But you can't really tell. No, it looks like when they pulled it out of the box somewhere, they like put a couple of holes in it. Um, this is Lulu Lemon, and I found it at Ragstock, <laughs> and I washed it, and now she's all good to go. Cute, like, little fanned neck. Um, another Lulu Lemon. This is, like, one of those reversible, kind of, like, Henley, not Henley, like, long sleeve tops. Um, what this? Oh, this is bougie. This is Lewitt, which is very, very, very expensive. And it's the, like, yellow... Real Real does not take it. Puffy sleeve. No, but, like, meh. They can... I can... I'll take it. Thank you. Uh, it's, like, this balloon sleeve silk top with the little tie in the back. It's super cute. Let me just do that before I list it. Okay. With this. Um, this is a Zara dress. It's called the, like, overgrown, like, button-up dress size medium and it's this really pretty like tunicky style patterned dress okay i got one more in this bag so here we go i was excited to find this it is frank and eileen the banny bobby still can't tell what that name says size medium little flannel shirt and i am pumped about it. Jack doesn't think I am going to make any money on this, but I am very excited too. I didn't know that was an expensive brand. I didn't want to. It's very expensive. Uh, very well, excited. it's pretty expensive. It's like, it's like rails expensive. Um, speaking of, so here's a better <laughs> what brand. What a lovely tie-in. <laughs> here's a brand that's a lot better than that one. It's called Rails. <laughs> um, I like this because it reminds me of the first Rails I ever found. Oh, yeah. Because it was like this chambray type style. And this is an extra small. Super cute, and I think it's the Hunter because it has one pocket at the front. They got like two styles of shirts. It's like the plaid and then the other one. This I was excited about. These are cute. Made well, and they are skinny skinny, size 25, like elastic waistband, and they're coated. Like coated. So they're like, look like leather pants, but not quite leather yeah, pants. Yeah, which we all know is in. Cute. So. I think they're full length, not like cropped or anything. Yeah. Lily Plitzer size medium. Lily Plitzer is nearing a NOLO brand she at this point. We haven't me. officially put her on one, but she may be on the next one. But this was pretty cheap, size medium. Yeah, it's kind of cute. Kind of boring, though, so we'll see how that goes. I think the patterned Lily would do a lot better. Yeah. Or that, like, this dark and stormy stuff. is Burberry Brit. Cute. Blue polo men's, and it's a size extra large. And it's funny, because the day that I found this, I sold a... Burberry Brit men's polo in this color, short sleeve. You better call that man and say, do you want another man or a long sleeve? I think that was like a small though. 
Oh, never mind. And then this is a free people size zero. I thought this was super cute. Little jacket. Like a crop kind of moto yeah, really jacket. Cute with the little tie sleeves. Yeah. Cute. Okay. First up for me, I usually don't do home decor, but I thought this was a very cute. It is a table runner. And it's very long and it just has these like thin little tassels on it and these multicolored stripes. We were gonna use it for ourselves, but we don't have a spot to put it. It doesn't look good. Extra dust bags, a necessity. <laughs> okay, this is a fossil purse. And this is canvas with the leather detail. Fossil right there. Um, and this does have some wear on like this part, these like corners up here, but it's not that bad. It's just a cute little striped bag. This I am still very tempted to keep, and I love it so much. It is this 100% leather, um, like, tote bag. And Nick said it was somebody who makes things in Minneapolis, but I really wasn't paying attention, sorry. <laughs> so I didn't know what he said. Um, but it's After just he this... just said he likes watching our videos so I much, now like... he's going to watch this and be like, unsubscribe he's gonna be like unsubscribe unfollow block ryan doesn't report. pay attention to what i say i either, really so. am like not the most attentive person sometimes very not um but he did say it was very nice which i didn't pay attention to <laughs> but it's like mm, completely leather on the inside with a little like one of these so you can like shape it and there's pockets in there as well mm. did i get a few pairs of shoes oh i did get a pair of shoes i forgot I got two pairs of shoes, actually. Um, these are, what are these? Oh, Paul Green. Cute little pair of Paul Green boots. I gotta kinda clean them up a little bit. They got some wear on the back of the heel, but that shouldn't be a problem. And then I like these totes because I carry all my crap in them. They're nice. Okay, these are Urban Outfitters. Little like, I don't know. I looked up the style for this kind of shoe and I forgot. But they're these just like red little woven kind of baskety sandals and they are a size six. I found those. And I got them because I love Urban Outfitters. I'm gonna go. Wait, hold on, I'm gonna do this. I love this little bag. I found it in the bins. It's adorable. It's just a red little leather snakeskin purse and it does have the- Very on tron. <laughs> and there is a teeny little crossbody strap in here. And it's like never been worn. It's very really cute. Okay, I'm gonna wrap mine up because I only got five left. So this was just from like a Savers. It is this really cute Free People Beach. Oh yeah. Striped this swim really cover. Cute. I don't know. Do any of you know? Do they make Free People Beach anymore? I don't think so. Mm. Size I mean, small. Like, that tag looks like newish though. Um. Yeah, I know, but the model picture is from a while ago. It's mm. super cute though. I feel like yeah. Free People Beach is very timeless. Even if you find old ones, like like those damn crew necks. <laughs> This I was excited about. It's Beta Brand. Beta brand. Oh so my gosh. So cute. Not Every like time I, I have it, it sells so quick. And then look at these like button details at the top. Like I she don't know if I've ever seen it. someone find Beta Brand that's not just like black. But so like, like the black does very well. Yeah, I mean that does good, but I'm excited. These are so cute. They look like chef's paint. They're size medium. This is from the Which bins. Is... It's the one answer that I found. It's Meadow Rue. Meadows Rue. And it's a medium. As Debbie calls it. It's cute. It's though. black. It's got like textured top to it. First time finding this brand. I didn't know that this brand was good. Ryan did. So mad. Remember, I think he found it in the last haul. I found a better one now. So it's this really cute embroidered moto jacket. And it's feathers by Talani. Size medium. It can be sold as the, at Anthro, I have found out by looking it up, but I believe it's expensive no matter what. It's ridiculously expensive. So, it's that, so cute. Sh that should do really Ooh, well. Why am I yawning? This is a 3.1 Philip Lim. Philip Jim. And it's size six. <laughs> it's really, really pretty. Mint color with like, like laser cut. Time. And the only flaw, I don't know, it might be missing a slip, but like it has a teeny little stain. Like on the back side. Yeah, because like. That's fine. You know. It probably retailed at like $800. Yeah, Last okay. but not least for me is this new tag, not new with tag, new tag, Athleta Extra Small. Really nice, like bougie, like cute. sweatshirt. Like wrap hoodie. With this like cute zipper detail, like copper. Very nice. Okay. We got a whole nother bag to go, and this whole section of stuff is real, real. So let's just take that out of the way. Okay, this is 
something. Um, it is Jack Daniels mm -hmm. and um, Wrangler. Wrangler. Wrangler Jack Daniels. Seems like a good eBay It's item. just like a really fun little like vintage top that I found in the bins. And I Googled it and they're at like cowboy stores. Like Boo Barn. So, you know, hopefully I'll do something with it. Um, these are a very fun pair of vintage jeans. 100% Illily. I don't know who Illily is, but I like her pants. I thought they would fit me. They did not. They had like a 20... What's that called? Like, 7, maybe? 27 inch waist? I'm just going to sit here. And I'm going to be a viewer with you guys now. I'm just... Okay, so this is another Spanx. Did um, you two Spanx? They did. Or is this Assets? This is an Assets. Okay. Assets by Spanx is from Target, just so you know. Um, but it's just this, like, well, one piece. There's a crotch in there somewhere. You just can't see it. Um, this was for me, but it fits me horribly. I hate how it looks on me. Um, it's an Adidas size large, probably because it's a women's large, because it's tiny. Um, this little classic gray, like, three stripes t-shirt. Is there a little oh, something on it? Oh, I think. Did I miss something? Um, this is an eBay, because I'm dipping my toe into the eBay all of a sudden. Uh, Tommy Bahama, size medium. Little one of these, like, Islander shirts for, um, white guys at vacation in Arizona. Or golf. You know? Yeah, or that golf. Um, okay, so here's the talk of the town. You know? everyone with, um, okay. <laughs> that should be my new t-shirt line that I come out with. Um, I posted this on... <laughs> I'm gonna scream. Um. Oh, anyway. I posted this on my Instagram, and everybody said I should get it. And the couple at the thrift store, when I found this, was like, you're gonna get this. The guy was kind of like dropping hints that he wanted it. I said, no, mine, sorry. Uh, Grateful Dead Christmas sweater with the like logo on the sleeve and up here and on the back and the bears. Perfect. Size like me. This is new tag Fame and Partners. New brand to us again. Very easy. We had just learned about this brand the day before he, I found this. And then I bought it. <laughs> yeah, and so it was interesting to find it right after. Okay, so it's kind of hard to sh hold up. But it's like a Why? black, because it's like, oh, never mind. It's not that hard. Okay, it's like a black fl really <laughs> floral, like, oh, that's why, because it's a cross back and it looks tiny. Um, little dress. I don't, do not remove. I can't remember. return it. Yeah. Okay. New anyway. tag from Savers. Um, and this is a size two. So you know he paid up a little because it was from Savers. I did. But. <laughs> Um, it's, it's an expensive, expensive brand. And so. it was on, this one was on Revolve. So, I'll pay yeah. up for that. That's fine. Okay, this is a The Doors t-shirt. And it has everybody on it. And we got all The Doors going lizard all kinds kings. of places. Um, yeah, I don't quite get what this is about. This lizard moment. Lizard King. Lizard King. I don't know if that's like an album or what. I'm not 100% sure how vintage this oh, is. Oh, and it's embroidered too. Yeah, The Doors is like... The doors. The logo of the doors is embroidered. I don't see a year. Oh, wait. What does that say? Yeah. Mm. I just want to make sure it's not, like, offensive. Writers on the song. Oh, that's just a song. <laughs> okay. This was going to be for me, but now it's not. Um, it's Ted Baker because I don't know if I'm going to go to Paris. <laughs> Ted Baker size 5 little jacket. It's super cute. It's a little teeny tiny bit too short on me. Washed out everything. Yeah, we look like that's spooky. the thumbnail. Just <laughs> um, okay, so size five is like medium large, I think, but it's like new condition. Okay, this is like an endless bag. I got a lot. This is like <laughs> Grandma Maggie from Halloween Town, where she just she's pulling crap out of her bag. Okay, so these are. The Essential Trouser by Anthropology in a U.S. size 8. And they are these really cute, like, seamed down the front, wide leg trouser pants. Very cute. Very high-waisted. And then, last but not least, a cute little vintage purse. That I found also. You got a lot of stuff I found. Because, you know, one of the man's treasure is the man's treasure. Um, got a little chain on That's it. That's not the same. Cute. And I just liked it because the print's really pretty. 
Okay, so for those of you that are still with us, thank you for watching this Hi, entire video. Thank you. If you're interested in anything, as usual, let us know. The email is the first thing below, and then right under it are Instagrams. You can also contact yes. us there. Try not to do Poshmark or comments because no. it's sometimes hard for us to get to those. And Poshmark will flag your And account. Poshmark we can't do anything on. Things will happen. We'll get in trouble if we even like respond. Mm. So Instagram or email is the best place to reach us mm -hmm. at. And thank you guys for watching. Let us know what your favorite item was that we hauled oh, today. And we will see you <laughs> with a, another top 10 Bolo video on Thursday. So bye. Goodbye. And we might do a live What's What's Oh Saturday yeah, this, this week. So let us know if you want us to do that. <laughs> bye. <laughs>